Alves, uh, that news to come for you in a moment or two. And uh, Al Jazeera, well, it may have something to do with the fact that they've got a big league game coming up uh, in less than a week's time against Al Dafra, but they are without six of their 23-man squad today. And some quite key players missing as well for those who will be wearing the red with Al Jazeera. They are definitely Monterey supporters. Known as Los Rayadas or La Pandilla. Those are the nicknames of Monterrey, the most famous club in the north of Mexico. Uh, keen rivals Tigres did well in the Club World Cup last year, reaching the final, only to lose to Bayern Munich, the Europeans. And uh, in general, Europe has dominated this competition over recent times. Corinthians from Brazil, the last South American victors. And uh, last evening we saw Palmeiras representing uh, Comabo make it through to the final. A 2-0 victory for them over Al Ali from Egypt. So they will be facing either Chelsea or Al Hilal in Saturday's final. A small crowd here today, that's uh, not surprising really, with the uh, first and second places to be settled, and this one just for a fifth and sixth. But what we do hope is that the two sides can relax and put on a bit of a, a show, an extravaganza for us. One thing you will always get at a FIFA tournament is the build-up to the arrival of the players on the pitch. There are large banners out there at the moment, uh, a battery of photographers ready to capture the moment when the two captains uh, lead out their side as they do now. Monterey led by Cesar Montes, who is back in the lineup, and uh, Al Jazeera by their goalkeeper Ali Kasef. Welcome everybody to the match for fifth place in the FIFA Club World Cup of 2022. The referee holding the ball has come from Algeria. He is Mustafa Hobal. And he is assisted by officials from his own country, Algeria, and by fourth official Chris Beath from the United States of America. And we will bring you the uh, team news in uh, a second or two. After the uh, teams have completed the lineup, they don't uh, shake hands for obvious reasons these days because of the COVID restrictions. But isn't it great that we've had a, a tournament to, to enjoy and to celebrate here in the United Arab Emirates, where so much top class sport is taking place right now supporters from santa cruz in monterey which has of course hosted fifa world cup finals matches as well over the years this is a fine stadium there is the coach of uh, al jazeera the 53 year old uh, dutchman uh, marcel keza look along the line of players. Monterey far more experienced than the opposition today, but that uh, doesn't always mean that they will be victorious. There are a number here who played three years ago in uh, Monterey's last appearance. Al Jazeera's second. And they have, uh, including their goalkeeper, Ali Kasey, two or three members who were around then. As the music changes, the banners disappear from the field of action. Flags are displayed on the sidelines, and we look at the Monterey lineup with Andrade, the regular goalkeeper. Moreno is back, having received a red card in the last league game. Montes is the captain today. Medina also returns to the starting lineup. Kranovic has moved forward from a centre back position to the heart of the midfield. Romo is. Uh, key player for them in the centre. Gallardo gets a start today, and up front, Funes Mori is their top marksman. Mezzi was possibly their best player against Al Ali in that losing cause. And you can see a full quota of substitutes there, including number nine, Vincent Janssen, and number eight, Joel Campbell, from the Netherlands and Costa Rica, respectively. Mustafa Khobal from Algeria, then, is today's match official. 
it will shortly be on with the action of VAR today in the hands of Massimiliano Irati from Italy and his team. And they have uh, been occupied in uh, just about every game so far, in one way or another. It's right in the heart of uh, Abu Dhabi, this uh, stadium, as we look at the Al Jazeera lineup with the regular goalkeeper, Ali Kasey. Idris retains his place in the back four, as does Khalifa, but there are starts for Zayed Sultan and Salim Rashid, two young men. Biggest day of their football careers so far. Serrero is a key man in the heart of the, uh, the midfield. And Diaby, top scorer, he's got two goals from the two games played so far. The first start for Umar Traore, Ahmed Ali Hashmi scored the second goal in that 4-1 victory against Pirai, and this is the way that Al Jazeera will be lining up. 4-2, 3-1 is their favourite formation, but look at that list of substitutes. There's only six names. The uh, coach Aguirre, Javier Aguirre, is uh, known as El Vasco, a man who won 59 caps for his country. Distinguished player, distinguished coach who has coached his country and that of Egypt back in 2018. Now his counterpart, uh, Michael Kaiser, from the Netherlands. His second spell with the club, he left in 2018 to move to Sporting in Portugal, but has returned within a year, and he's led the club to the league title. 36-year-old referee who's been on the FIFA list since 2014. It's time to go, everybody. It is Monterey against Al Jazeera. And Monterey in the black and white. Oh, a pass back there, which was uh, almost encouraging the Al Jazeera striker to get in. And within the first 10 seconds here, the, uh, the medics are required the collision with the goalkeeper. Rather unfortunate beginning in the first 10 seconds, as I say, and uh, Esteban Andrade had to come. It was a rather slack back pass there. And as you can see, there's a, an almighty collision with Abdullah Diaby, the uh, Malian. And, uh, let's hope they're both going to be OK. Diaby is. The man who I say has scored twice already in this uh, tournament. Looks as though there may be a bit of finger trouble for Esteban Andrade, the goalkeeper, the Argentine goalkeeper. And I'm sure they should be able to patch the pair of them up. Oh, rather disconcerting, disconcerting start. One minute on the clock now, and there were only ten seconds on it when that happened. Nobody wants to lose a player this early in the match. And especially someone like Diaby, who knows their way to the net. Nice open uh, pitch, this one here, the home of the Awadah Club. Monterey had a lot of the ball in the early exchanges of their game against Al Ali, created a couple of opportunities but didn't take any of them and suffered the consequences ultimately of a single goal loss to the Egyptians, who themselves were beaten by two goals to nil last evening by Palmeiras in this stadium. which will also house the third, fourth playoff game. The right fullback today, Stefan Medina, a Colombian. Well, he's got his team into a decent position here. There could be an early goal, though if he turned on that, it would almost certainly have been a goal. The cross was from Meza, who does cause havoc in opposition defences. Well, it didn't need much more, did it? Here we come. Little touch forward there. This is Meza. Pulls it back and, oh, he only needed to swing on that one. And it would have been a certain goal for Monterey. Still seeking their first goal of this year's tournament. They've played many matches in the Club World Cup, 11 in total. They've won five of them, lost four. They have the opportunity again through Romo to get forward and through Meza. Well, they've started very brightly here against the nervous looking away side. Was that over the line? It's clawed away by the goalkeeper. The referee will uh, look to his assistant official. Arm raised and, uh, well, it is a lead here for Monterey. 
I thought that had crept across the line. Here's the ball pulled back in. It's one of the quickest goals in the uh, Club World Cup. Well, goalkeeper there. And I have to look at this from another angle. And thank goodness we have all these uh, facilities these days. The keeper down, and well, it's impossible to tell because of his prostate body at that uh, moment. But it is a goal for Malta, right? They will be uh, studying this one, and they're still sorting out exactly who contributed the final touch. It looks like Triori to me. But 1-0 Monterey, they have their first goal of this tournament. What a strange beginning to the game. An injury inside the first 10 seconds. And a goal inside the first four minutes as well. But it really was a strange one. It was uh, from my position here, which is a long way away, I have to say, from the goal. My initial reaction was that the ball had crossed the line, but then it was impossible to see from those angles with the goalkeeper's body absolutely covering where it was over the line. I'm no doubt we'll uh, have further technology assistance a little later on. 1-0 Monterey. Great start then for the team from CONCACAF. An almost muted celebration from the fans who were just as doubtful, I think, as uh, many people inside the stadium. It's an own goal by Traore that has been accredited. In the fourth minute. Really unnerving start for uh, an Al Jazeera side that has got so many young players in it, particularly the two young defenders starting today, Zaid Sultan and Salim Rashid who've barely played any first-team football for the club. And they were ripped asunder twice in those opening four minutes. The second time, crucially. And another useful ball as well, and there could be a one-on-one -on -one situation developing here. This time it is steered away for the moment. Played against the opponent by Khalifa. <laughs> Coach Aguirre there looked as stunned as everybody else, I think, by the goal. They mustn't give the ball away like that. It's a really sloppy beginning from the uh, champions of UAE, but uh, the referee's whistle will come to their aid this time. With the foul by one of those players brought into the starting lineup today, uh, Gayadu. There is the foul on his opposite number, the other number 17, Serrero, the South African. Time uh, and an opportunity here for Jazeera to hit back. They're plenty forward, playing a twin strike force with Zayed Al-Amri and Ahmed Al-Hashmi. Well, that's a, well, we've seen a lot of sloppy football. Uh, I was saying we were hoping for an extravaganza of uh, good football, but at the moment, it's really haphazard stuff, and the corner conceded there very unnecessarily. Could have played the back to his goalkeeper, could have just put boot to ball. But it will be a corner in the seventh minute to Al Jazeera. He scored four times in their first match, conceded six in their second, and have again conceded. Keeper's punch is effective for the time being, and this will be a free kick for Monterrey. This is Gallardo there. He's uh, been brought in for Vegas, uh, left-sided position. I'm saying that uh, Al Jazeera have a game next Tuesday. Al Jarafa and uh, Monterey also have a fixture next week on their return home. So not much time for rest before they play Puebla on the 19th. Puebla, another venue that was used uh, in the FIFA World Cup of 1986 in Mexico. Some great games played there. Rush it back to the goalkeeper this time. Going to stab it right. Ali Kasev, the regular, the 34-year-old who was in the Al Jazeera squad three uh, years ago. Oh, 
had a few stoppages. Well, here we have this goal line technology for you, I was saying, and that is it. And look how close that one is. The ball is literally an inch across the line, and that's enough for the goal to have been given. We like to see the final touch again from Sonder. The big hand of the goalkeeper did keep the ball from getting into the net, but it was sufficiently over the line, and that's why we have this uh, virtual technology these days, which is uh, terrific. No value to us all. Al Jazeera looking to hit back. We're still very much in the early phases of this contest. With a mere nine minutes gone and already plenty to talk about. All the way back from the halfway line to uh, Al Khasef. He's now conceded eight times in the three matches they've played. to pierce the back line with a ball through the centre, maybe. There is a back four for Monterey today, consisting uh, of uh, Medina, Moreno, Montes and Aguirre. The captain, Montes, restored to the starting lineup. He suffered illness when he first arrived here in the United Arab Emirates and was uh, missing from the first game. Very much a leader for them. <laughs> the angled header presented the ball to the opposition, but it is Monterey who won it back again here now. A telling cross could have the uh, Al Jazeera team in real trouble. They are in trouble it is now two goals to nil and what a start here from the Mexicans all oh, far far too easy goals and the supporters are cheering because Funes Mori has extended that lead to 2 nil and it's his third goal in the FIFA Club World Cup he scored against Liverpool he scored again against Al Sadd back in 2019 and here he will not get a simpler goal the defence is all over the place here, and Funes Mori, a man with uh, more than 130 goals to his credit, only too ready to accept the gift. Across from Meza, the goalkeeper in no man's land, the defence in no man's land, the ball in the net, 2 0. And the omens are not very promising for Al Jazeera, I'm afraid. They've now conceded eight times in a short matter of time. Remember, they conceded six in the last match, four in the second half, and they've conceded two here in the opening 11 minutes in Al Nayan. Goal scorer for Monterey, number seven, Rogelio Funes Mori. Well, it may not seem much, but uh, fifth place, it's certainly better than sixth, and uh, it's uh, the way Monterey are heading right now. And they have a big opportunity, one feels here, to add to their goals tally over the years in the Club World Cup. This is a back pass to the goalkeeper, which was uh, just steered away from the advancing attacker, Al Hashmi. It's the other goalkeeper who is much in focus right now, though. A rather hapless uh, Al Jazeera at the minute. This one is launched up to the halfway line. And there seems to be some real disorganisation at the back from the United Arab Emirates side. She's struggling to contain this uh, Central and North American opposition. And she's had the perfect start to the afternoon. 5.30 in the afternoon kickoff here, by the way, today. The other game this evening at uh, 8.30 local time. And a free kick now for Al Jazeera, so if they can make something from this, that will give them renewed heart. You suspect that Al Jazeera's hearts may not quite be in this one. Uh, knocked out of the 
competition. The stuffing knocked out of them as well by the concession of those six goals by Al Hilal. And then a big league game to come next week. Some of the players' minds might be elsewhere. Plus the fact that they're blooding two really young centre backs today together. But they've got plenty going forward and they will uh, maybe get the first shot in here. It was blocked, the effort from Al Hashmi. Just too long. The uh, attempted ball down the right channel. Traore there. He's been credited with that goal in the fourth minute. One he certainly didn't want. A very young player from Mali, Traore, just 19 years of age. In his first full season uh, in the United Arab Emirates. He has scored five times for them. And he's now scored once against them. El Khasif. Uh, He's a full international, he's won over 50 caps for his country. But already had to pick the ball out twice. Now they're trying to get uh, Traore moving down the right channel with those long balls, but they haven't got the range right as yet. Serrero, the number 17 from South Africa. Spent eight years in the Netherlands. Once uh, scored a goal for Ajax against Barcelona in the Champions League, so he has a pedigree. Montes chooses to knock this one back to his goalkeeper Andrade, formerly of Lanos and Boca Juniors, and the. Getting a bit sloppy at the back themselves here now, for Monterrey. Only a throw in. There's been some nervous defending in these early minutes at both ends. 16 minutes played, Monterrey 2, Al Jazeera 0. The, uh, the blue and white stripes should advance. Rather shakily. And then it is looped across here. The back ball from Medina. Montes. Still only 24 Montes, the captain. again Montes taking it again from Luis Romo the former Carretero and Cruz Azul man it's when they use the width of the pitch that they look so dangerous but, uh, this will uh, race out to bounce across that white line Javier Geary well, won the CONCACAF Gold Cup back in 2009 and says his heart is uh, very much at times here in this stadium where he coached successfully. Well, opportunity to advance centrally this time. It's a very studied and deliberate build-up on the Central American side. Maybe Al Jazeera just warming to their task. The sun's uh, just about gone down here now in the stadium. It, it does get cool of an evening. Lovely during the day. And there will be a free kick here for Al Jazeera. Now charged with the task of recovering from that horror start. <laughs> uh, 
once again, that's a shocking uh, giveaway of the ball, but they do not capitalise. Finally, they head the ball back to their goalkeeper, who does decide to grasp it. No alarm at the other end. But they're finding their range of passing uh, awkward as well with Monterey right now. They really were gifted the goals. Good hustling there around the edge of the 18-yard zone from the uh, striker Al Hashmi. He's had a, a good tournament. It took only five minutes for this Club World Cup to get its first goal, which was scored for uh, Al Jazeera by Zayed Al Amari, who is uh, one of those out there uh, today. Lamari has been recalled to the starting lineup and was left out of the second game. And it took him less than five minutes to give them the lead against uh, Pirai. Yeah, the game has gone into a little bit of a lull since the second goal, which came just on the 11th minute. That uh, Funis Mori capitalising uh, on the uh, poor defending partly of the goalkeeper and partly of the centre backs. I do notice that the uh, first goal has been a correction on the first goal now, and it's now been credited to Zayed Sultan. And be a bit of relief, maybe, to Traore, who was uh, initially credited with it. A lot of people will have been looking at monitors, and it did take some while to decipher who got the final touch. Well, I think they've finally decided that it was Zayed Sultan and not Traore. A chance maybe for Monterey to add to their tally already here. 21 minutes gone in the game. The goalkeeper talking. It's important for him to do that with these two young defenders in front of him. Salim Rashid, Zayed Sultan, Khalifa al Amadi. Referee taking up his station now before this free kick will be uh, delivered short. A great ambition initially, and a glancing header down, and uh, finally it's touched down off the knee, I think, for uh, a goal kick. If that is the case, that uh, Zayed Sultan has been credited uh, with that goal, it's a really unfortunate start for his career. He's playing instead of Milos Kasanovic, the Serb, and he's only had one substitute appearance in the first team before. So, uh, a memory for him that he would like to erase, perhaps. Still much time to play in this game in the Al Nayan Stadium. She's right in the middle of uh, Abu Dhabi, the heart of the business centre and a lot of uh, restaurants around as well. And here is an opportunity now, he takes it down, took it on the chest, breasted the ball down and then thrashed it wide with the left boot, Alamari. Well, there was nothing wrong, there was no handball. But uh, he couldn't find the penetration required. Alamari, the 25-year-old, uh, we also had two goals ruled out by VAR in that victory over Pirai. Twenty-three minutes on the clock.
seem to have more back passes to the goalkeeper than uh, anything else. Oh, and an awful slip here by uh, Ali Kasef. So they will come again with the blue and white stripes. And they will get a free kick. That's a couple they've had now in the last two minutes. Maybe the player's just a little bit too vocal, Salim Rashid. He spent three seasons with the Owl Itihad club. 28 now, Rashid, just coming back from injury. It's his first appearance of this Club World Cup. Not available for the first match because of injury. Left on the subs bench for the second game. Well, the uh, demeanour on the touchline of the two coaches says a lot. There's uh, not a great deal of animation at the moment. This one's knocked into a dangerous zone, and it's 3-0. The contest may be over already. The header, a uh, close range one from Cesar Montes. Aguirre's side is surely on their way to fifth place now in the FIFA Club World Cup of 2022. Well, he wears the captain's armband. He's just come back into the side. He's a centre back, but he does score goals as well. Time the run well. Glancing header into the corner. Keeper can do nothing about it. And Monterey are surely on their way to victory. It's been a stunning start from them. It's taken them only 25 minutes to forge a three-goal advantage. Montez did score in the last league game in which he played as well. Which was uh, against Cruz Azul. That one ended 2-2. This one certainly isn't going to end 2-2, it's 3-0 already. Montez is regarded as a, a key man for this team. And that's partly why. Now they come back to Al Jazeera, opportunity for them. Well, they might as well have a go. Nothing to lose, that's for sure. And it is a pullback which will yield a corner kick for them. Well, it would just give them uh, and their younger players some encouragement if they were to find a goal from this corner kick, which will be uh, taken by Abdallah. Egyptian by birth. Takes it short. The traffic is all going one way right now. But the goals are going the other way. Ooh, there was a chance to play that one forward and Al Jazeera would have been in trouble again. They're in big trouble in terms of the match at 3-0 down. We haven't even got anywhere near the half-hour mark yet. And statistically, of course, what it means is that they've now conceded ten times. Not what they had in mind when they qualified by winning the Pro League. It was a measured clearance by the goalkeeper, it wasn't the best, but here they are able to move the ball to the left side from Kranovita. There was no potency about Monterey in the defeat by Al Ali, they created 20 or so chances, but really only hit the target with two of them and failed to score in a 1-0 loss. Today they've hit the net three times already. And they are monopolising the possession at the moment as they uh, do advance well inside opposition territory. I get the feeling it could be a bit of a, a learning day for Al Jazeera. Be in trouble defensively again here now if this ball is crossed in. Now they're biding their time. Little chip into the 18 yard area, corner kick. Set piece opportunity. And a young defender under pressure. Just tell from the body language of Zayed there that uh, it's hard work for this Al Jazeera defence. Might get even harder soon. 
Hicks will be pulled away from the goalkeeper and a free header again. It's put over the top this time. As soon as Mori gets into uh, great positions, though, he's already found the net once and he might well have found it again there had he been able to nod the ball down into the ground and instead of up over the bar. But I'm sure Rogelio Funes Mori is enjoying himself thoroughly this afternoon now, having added to those Club World Cup goals against Al Sadd and Liverpool three years ago. He also scored in the penalty shootout against Al Hilal, by the way. Just coming up to the half hour now. Down the goalkeeper manages to keep his footing. He has slipped once already. Montes score of the last goal. Back by Rommel. All practice ground stuff at the moment. Played down the line, good ball as well. A one on one situation developing, and on he goes. It may open the door for another goal here. Monterey are plenty forward. May have taken a fraction too long, and the final effort that comes in is high. The shot from Caranavita, the Argentine. International player who uh, was with uh, Atletico Madrid and River Plate at one stage of his career. So easily have been 4 0 after the inroads were made by Meza. Ball is going high. Funes Mori queuing up again here now, roaring up on the outside. Shot coming in. Oh, goalkeeper nowhere. Alakasev didn't know whether to uh, stick or twist there, he didn't know whether to advance. Or not, and he could have paid the penalty of hesitancy again. With that ball just lifted over the top of the crossbar by Rommel. It really is one way traffic. Not that he looks entirely happy. But Monterey are restoring a little bit of pride here today. With this uh, scoreline, so disappointed to lose out to Al Ali. Romo becoming more influential than ever. The point of the attack is switched to the left leg. No hurry, no reason to hurry for those in the stripes, the blue stripes. An uncomfortable header, and, well, what is going on back there? Truly nervous defending again from Abdullah Idris. But a little push here in the back, so a free kick and a little bit of respite for Al Jazeera. humbling experience this first half an hour for the home side. The referee waited there until he saw whether there was any advantage to be gained by Monterey, whose player was down, Gonzalez. Gonzalez, who broke an arm when he was playing baseball, which was his first love, so he gave that sport up and took this one on. And he's been highly successful at it. Almost getting the ball through, but it was uh, blocked off by Aguirre. Al Jazeera uh, more effective in their offensive play than they are defensively. They Ripped Perret apart with four goals in that uh, opening victory. 
and started well enough against Al Hilal, scoring first. But we've seen very little of Abdullah Diaby today so far, the one who got goals in both the first two matches. He's had no chance today against a much more formidable Monterey defence. They really have found their range here, the Mexicans, and threatened once again down a left channel. Through the centre this time. All seems to be a man available on that uh, touchline, usually measure when it's down the right. Romo to pull the ball back in here, this time it is intercepted. And so is the clearance. More shots to come. Ooh, they just couldn't find uh, Mazur in there. He's a player who deserves a goal. Nicely done. Little back heeled, all cute. Things coming off here for Monterey, who are trying to find a fourth goal in this opening half. In the Al Nayan Stadium. Ooh, it trickles wide. It could have been another own goal, I think. Have a look at this one, it's flat, it's, it could have gone anywhere, couldn't it, let's be honest. The pullback from Meza, uh, is a, a little touch that he didn't really mean, I don't think. And you can hear the chants of Monterey, Monterey. They'll be happy they stayed on, the uh, thousand or so supporters who made the journey from Mexico. Mexico, as they call it. Now it is that man, Diaby. Lost. They really, here he is again. They really need some inspiration from somebody. The two goals he's got were excellent. Uh, really calmly uh, finished off, and he's pulled one back in here now. It's uh, kept out on the lines. The first save that's had to be made. Still the opportunities here for the shots. And it's two saves from Andrade in the space of about two seconds, having been totally unemployed hitherto. Chance fell for Alamari. It was uh, down that right-hand side that Diaby had made the uh, inroads. And the first effort there, he's done very well to effect uh, the block. And then that made a second save, which was far more routine. Monterey retain their three-goal advantage. Meza, not a bad ball here, an encouragement once again. No, not anymore. This one is a run out. Thirty-seven minutes gone by. Three goals scored. Virtual offside tracking would have told us there was a, an offside verdict there. It's these loose balls that uh, Monterey seemed to pick up adeptly as they did there, but Romo could make no advance. Maybe Al Jazeera will. Al Hashmi on the ball. And they've got two in the centre. Choose not to cross it first time. Plenty of red and white shirts around now, but the ball is uh, directed straight to the goalkeeper. coach has uh, just been in discussion with his assistants Tony Amor, Xavi Ruri and Hugo, uh, Hugo Castillo but I uh, don't think they'll be too worried about the way the day is going so far Romo, a real key man in the heart of that midfield he's in the engine room as we say and that's a touch on but it won't to get to measure it will strike the referee's assistants Mr Picciali that's Funes Mori, who got the second of the goals.
Monterey just appear to be stronger in every department at the moment. Almost sauntering through the game. That could be a, a, a warning sign to them, not to take it too lightly. Throw in Al Jazeera. Zero. At the moment, a fifth in their league table, ten points still behind the leaders, Alain, who themselves competed in the uh, Club World Cup a few years ago. Steam really was taken out of the contest in those first 11 minutes with the own goal from Zayed Sultan and then the follow up effort from uh, Funis Mori. Kidding the opponent. It's better, but it is Mazur who wins it back, and he'll advance down the right touch line until Idris manages to stretch and steer the ball away from the dangerous Meza. The uh, Argentine played in the 2018 World Cup finals. Funes Mori. Getting forward speedily here, and uh, are awarded a free kick. The referee right on the spot, and I think he's going to show the yellow card. It's the first of the afternoon for Gallardo. No complaint from Jesus Gallardo. Who once got a yellow card 13 seconds into uh, a game in the under 18 World Cup? Well, it's taking longer than 13 seconds today, taking 40 minutes. Several Monterey substitutes are warming up right now. They probably hope they get a run out in the second half. It's a long way to come not to get a game at all. They do have two strikers on the bench. Monterey wouldn't mind playing a part in this one as well. The Costa Rican international Joel Campbell and the uh, Dutch striker Vincent Janssen. Pizarro, I can see, warming up too. The long back press is uh, effective. Both goalkeepers wearing green today. This is sort of a light apple green, favoured by uh, Andrada. A chance to get down that touchline here for the right fullback, Medina, who uh, will serve a one match suspension when he returns uh, to his country. He was sent off in the last game against Cruz Azul, but that doesn't uh, count in this competition. Will miss his first match domestically. It's all gone a little bit quiet out there for the time being. Once again, the initiative is with the, the Mexican side. They four across in the centre. The ball is good, and uh, it should be cleared. He's eventually he's almost in slow motion though. There, and the ball will ultimately be played out, so attention can be received. Clutching of the right ankle. So Zayed Sultan, who has the unfortunate own goal to his name. And down under the challenge of Alfonso Gonzalez. Who captained the side in the first game before Cesar Montes return and has made an impact with the goal one of three in this first half for the mexicans a minute and a half to go in this first half then. and what on earth do you say as a coach to a team that's trailing by three goals when you go back to the dressing room
33 here, Stefan Medina, who's in his career been likened to the late Andres Escobar. You may remember the uh, Colombian who was tragically murdered after the World Cup finals in the United States of America in 1994 after an own goal he scored. But, uh, he was a, a super defender, a wonderful tackler, a clean tackler, and he's been uh, likened to him as the player I'm just referring to there, Medina. Romo manages to retain the possession. Well, Monterey looked to me as though they're just happy to stroke this ball around between one another before the whistle for the break. No urgency required, not under any great pressure. Free kick awarded and taken. Not too warm a day, so it's a perfect conditions here. And only two minutes of added time. Just running down the clock as Meza does here by making tracks across field. Asked his goalkeeper to make a contribution. Well, those are Monterey supporters in the stadium here. There's uh, Al Nav. Nayan must be absolutely delighted with the first 45 minutes the way it's gone. And with no pressure whatsoever, and they're just passing the ball around to one another as though there's uh, no opponent there. And Mezik can go all the way himself here. A little touch to the right, a chance of a fourth goal, maybe. He's headed across and over and out. Could easily have been four, which would have been a highly embarrassing scoreline for the host club. Plenty forward, uh, could have been offside actually, ultimately. I don't think there's any requirement to discover. Well, Medina was still cross. The tournament started with a one-sided contest which favoured Al Jazeera, their 4-1 victory over the Tahitian team. But uh, here as we reach the match for fifth place, it is a, a one-sided contest the other way for Monterey, trying to find a fourth goal to cement their position. Really horrible again from the goalkeeper, but the flag is raised for offside. Looks like it's going to be 3-0 at the break. Will be 3 0. Uh, referee Hobal sends the teams uh, down. And what a strange start it was to this match. An own goal there from that man, Zayed Sultan. Funis Mori came up with another one, one of the simplest of his uh, career. And then the captain made his contribution, Cesar Montes with the header. Which is why we have a half time scoreline here. The Monterey 3, Al Jazeera 0. Imagine there'll be a great deal of words to be said in the dressing room of Monterey, really, because they just want to keep going, make sure they don't pick up any unnecessary injuries before returning home for a league fixture. Al Jazeera, though, a very different uh, story. They haven't had as much of the ball as they would have liked. They've managed just half as many shots as the opposition and had only one shot on goal. The only yellow card has been shown to a Monterey player, however, this is Gallardo.
An afternoon kickoff in uh, Abu Dhabi here in the uh, battle for fifth place between Monterey from Mexico and Al Jazeera from United Arab Emirates. And it's a strange start, there was an injury in the first 10 seconds. And Monterey always looked capable of scoring goals, and Meza is forever laying on opportunities. And there was one there inside the, the first couple of minutes. And, uh, Monterey very much on top of, against the somewhat inexperienced Al Jazeera side, lacking six players from their squad of 23 today. And it was no surprise, really, when Monterey pieced together a move here. A little flick down the uh, touchline for the fullback who gets the cross in, and then the ball is just deflected, and it is finished off. Uh, be, it went over the line, and it took our goal line technology to discover that goalkeeper Kassaf had kept, had failed to keep the ball from crossing that white line. Own goal credited to Zayed Sultan. And it wasn't long before they were coming again, the uh, Mexican side. Very much on top with Romo at the hub of things there. Mezu once again, the inspiration. And a simple ball, but the goalkeeper in defence made a real hash of things. And Funes Mori there to capitalise. 2-0 on 11 minutes. His third goal in the Club World Cup, having uh, netted uh, against Al Hilal and also Liverpool in previous uh, competition. And then ahead of him, the captain, Cesar Montes, rising on the 25th minute, for meeting the corner kick with a glancing header. Montes, who had scored in his previous league appearance as well, now finds himself on the mark in the Club World Cup. 3-0 it was then, and you have to fear a little bit from Al Jazeera, who did almost find a goal of their own. Green and low at the break in favour of Monterey. Alibaba Cloud is APAC's number one cloud service provider. Supporting you with cloud computing, data intelligence, mobile collaboration, and industry intelligence. Accelerate digitalization with Alibaba Cloud. Predator is the coolest of our planet as footwear. This season, we wanted to create a technical boot well suited to the female game, which is more technical in nature. The weighted power facet is placed within the forefoot area of the tuning, which creates a weight bias towards the front. Together with the inner grips of the salt skin, supports the power transfer to the blade. Predator is the perfect boot for our female athletes because it's super technical and so is the female game. Since 1997, we have imagined the exceptional. From our very first flight, to opening the world's best airport, Hamad International Airport, to delivering unforgettable experiences on board. You're the reason we go above and beyond. The reason we've become the world's best.
fans have brought with them all the way from Mexico to entertain us here in the UAE. But there you go, the half time isn't over just yet. What we're going to do in a moment is take a look at the players we think might have an impact on the second half. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start by taking a look at a player from Monterrey. Number 11, Beza, he's had some really important touches on the ball in this first half. He's really been pulling the strings in that midfield for the Mexican side. Can he put a big impact on in this second half? Or will they take him out altogether and give some other players a bit of a run? Looking forward to seeing maybe Campbell come off the bench for Mexican side as well. Welcome back everybody to the Al Nayyam Stadium here in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. A convincing scoreline on behalf of Monterrey at half-time. The CONCACAF champions are leading 3-0 against Al Jazeera, the UAE hopes. And they really took the game by the scruff of the neck with three goals in the opening 25 minutes. An own goal from Zayed Sultan, the second from uh, Rogerio Funes Mori, and then the third, uh, the captain contributing, Cesar Montes. Uh, change here being made. Well, it's a triple change. Pizarro, one of those uh, coming on, also uh, arriving on the scene is number eight, Joel Campbell, and uh, number 20, Sebastian uh, Vegas. Already, and uh, well, I would imagine looking forward uh, to cementing what should be a comfortable victory. 
Campbell has replaced Gallardo. Vegas on in place of uh, Moreno and Pizarro for Gonzalez. Well, it's not surprising before the referee blows the whistle for the onset of the second half that Monterey should uh, sort of preserve the energy for one or two of their players really here. They have a, a league meeting with Puebla coming up in about a week's time. So we're underway again here. A, a rather strange cathedral-like atmosphere. It's a somewhat quiet in the Al Nayan Stadium here with the home hopes already quashed, I think. It would be a major surprise if they were to score three times. I think it's worth telling you, by the way, there will be no extra time today if they uh, do get back into this man the match managed to square things up and you see Pizarro's name number 30 Rodolfo Pizarro a 27 year old who's on loan from Inter Milan uh, David Beckham's club in uh, MLS Pizarro played in the 2016 Olympic Games in Brazil on now as a uh, the opportunity to break down the middle. And the player who was making that break was Traore, who had the best effort of the first half from an Al Jazeera perspective. A good shot, well saved by Andrada. He's recovered from an injury in the first 10 seconds. He hurt a finger in a collision. This one is uh, slung across the 18 yard area. And uh, that's a foul and a really unnecessary foul committed by Salim Rashid. by Campbell going nowhere so there's a, a pointless push really from Rashid and a chance right at the onset of the half for Monterey to grab a fourth as of the number 11 looking to take it Campbell at his right shoulder the likes of Montez will be up again hoping to uh, double his tally for the day Five in blue and white stripes in the 18-yard area. Two more hovering just outside, should the ball come back to them. It's floated in towards the keeper, and this time he manages to get uh, full gloves on it. And bolted out very quickly to Diaby. Who is very sharp, and the option is on here with the uh, pass down to the left. Uh, an early goal in this half would make life very interesting, and Diaby is there! But the uh, ball lands in the uh, grasp of Andrada. Promising start to the second half of uh, Al Jazeera. Quite a good cross as well. Not the worst you've ever seen from Zayed Alamari. Funis More. Well, they've had a bit of refreshment in the dressings at half time, so Monterey will come out. To Freshly charged up to see if they can add to those three goals that they got so early in the contest, really. But once again, the ball is conceded very cheaply. They mustn't get offside here. It has gone right. There was a player in an offside position across in the centre, but the, a pull across right across the six-yard zone and nobody able to get a touch, which would have been crucial, I'm sure. But once again, Al Jazeera looking vulnerable all because they conceded possession far too cheaply. Question of retaining composure for the side from UAE, I fancy. That was pedestrian, placing to stop there, and Campbell, as though he couldn't believe it, the ball never went out. But uh, now it is going to be uh, put out. And that's the reason it became pedestrian, the uh, injury. Hashmi, a hard-working player for Al Jazeera, 26 now. He's just returned to the club from uh, Al Sharjah. That was the opening. But, uh, that's the goal. It 
and obviously never found the net but it was a goal and so was uh, this one that was an absolute gift between goalkeeper and defence for Funes Mori third time he struck in this particular competition and then goal number three from the captain with the glancing header again afforded far too much space and all that happened in the first 25 minutes to the cartoon character's delight first goal was a real surprise there because you, you wait to see the ball end up in the net and uh, the goalkeeper with uh, sort of covered the vision and the way our Hawkeye friends uh, found a way of showing us and confirming that it was an own goal from Zayed Sultan free kick Monterey five minutes played in the second half to build on the considerable advantage that they've had throughout this game. You do expect Al Jazeera to score goals. They've failed only once in their last 18 matches to find the net at least once. They are certainly a better side in attack than in defence. Monterey's record win in this competition is 5-1, which was against Al Ali from Egypt. So they uh, could have a thought about challenging that. Certainly they'll make uh, inroads here with the pace down the right touch line. Seems to lose his footing there. Belief as well, I think. So a hard job for Khalifa marshalling this defence in which there are two very young players with so little of first team experience and Al Jazeera are on the back foot again now with plenty willing in the centre hoping for a cross to come in which they could convert and here is that ball towards Funes Mori it doesn't reach him it's just flicked away at the crucial moment otherwise he was in great shape again now they can move forward Free kick is awarded for Serrero against Aguirre. Not much doubt about that, the way he's going across the body there. Eric Aguirre, he won a bronze medal at the Tokyo Olympic Games uh, last summer. And another free kick for Al Jazeera. This is not to turn into a procession, it's uh, to be hoped that Al Jazeera do register the next goal of the game, really. It's a long way away at the moment. And the 50-50 balls seem to be won by the Mexicans more often than not. This one is beyond the reach of Campbell, who's been away playing for Costa Rica in World Cup qualifiers. So I got here a little later than the rest of the Monterey squad. Came on as a substitute in the game with uh, Al Ali. And the referee's uh, coming over here with the yellow card in his pocket. And it's going to be Campbell who gets it when it comes out of the pocket. Almost doubt in the referee's opinion there that Joel Campbell deserved that. Former Arsenal player in the English Premier League, Campbell. Scored a goal in the World Cup Finals of 2014 as well, when Costa Rica reached the quarter-finals. It's the second caution of the day, Gallardo was the first of Monterey players, and it is Monterey in the possession here now. With Cranavita from Argentina. Absolutely no hurry at all for the side from Mexico and north of the country. Costa trying to find that back line square. And again, uh, 
allow the opportunity to win the ball back. Keeper's catch. A little danger there. But the impetus has probably gone from the play from uh, Monterey because they don't have to do anything spectacular now. The game should be won and lost. I'm sure their supporters, though, are still making plenty of noise. Would like to see them add a few more goals. The opportunity, you think, is there. Especially against a side that conceded four times in the second half of their last match. Better than Diaby. Again, the referee's whistle will come to the advantage. Oh, it's another yellow card as well. And they're uh, tossing them up a bit. Pizarro this time. Not been on the field long. He and Campbell came on for the second half, and both of them have got booked inside ten minutes. It's not the impact that the coach was hoping they would make. The uh, tally of yellow cards for Monterey goes up to three now. Oh, very close to conceding the possession unnecessarily there for Al Jazeera, but it is picked up once again by Serrero. Better. Diaby. He's more dangerous when he starts out on the right here and puts that ball onto his left foot. Cuts across the pitch. <coughs> Little chip ball of interest here to Al Jazeera if they can find a way through that back line. They can't, and Funis Mori can't retain the possession either. Serrero. Looks to me as though Monte, Monterey are going to make another switch as well in a, a minute or two. Janssen preparing for some action. He'll want a goal or two. No push this time, rules the ref. So it's interesting that the side that has the, the lead, and a big lead as well, is the one that wants to make all the switches in personnel. Al Jazeera, of course, have got very limited choices on the bench today. Six of their players not available. One is through suspension, and the other through just non-selection. That's a really poor pass as well, and Campbell will latch on to this one. Decides whether to not get in first time or not, and starts to bludgeon his way through. Not able to do that, but there were three in red and white shirts around him. Now Janssen will uh, come onto the field of play. He'll uh, replace Funis Mori, so the uh, top goal scorer is sacrificed. He won't be worried about that, he's got his goal today and has now scored in consecutive Club World Cup appearances for his team. Virgilio Funis Mori. Replaced by Vincent Janssen, a former Tottenham Hotspur player. He cost £71 million when he went to North London in England. He's been rather more successful with his Mexican club, though. And he scored the winning penalty for them in the Apertura final of 2019. And he's now brought on to try and enhance that scoreline at the top of your screen. A rare touch of the ball for Andrada. Did make one good save in the first half, though, from Traore. No, Romo. Approaching the hour mark. No alteration to the scoreline since the 25th minute here. It might suggest that Monterey are just sitting on their laurels a little bit. That's a brilliant ball, it pierces that defence and it's going to be a pull across here for Campbell, who'll try to squeeze it through the goalkeeper's legs. And this time, 
Ali Kashef does his job and prevents Campbell putting his name on the score sheet. It was just a bit of a too much of a stretch for the Costa Rican. Angle too acute, but still a corner. And Kashef gets her pat on the back. 34 now the goalkeeper. He actually once scored a goal for Al Jazeera. Coming up to 200 appearances for the club. He may be tested here. This one's going to be pulled away by Campbell. Away from the goalkeeper, who will not be troubled. Here's the header. Landing on top of the net. Plenty of movement all around in there. Just too high. Seems quite a long while ago now since Monterey got that third goal from uh, Montes. They've had 11 shots in total to uh, Al Jazeera's four. It still looks a little too easy to the CONCACAF champions. The litany of success over the years. They've won five league titles in Mexico, three domestic cups as well. One of the most successful teams in the CONCACAF region. It habitually seems to be a Mexican side that wins the CONCACAF title these days. I've seen the likes of uh, Atlas in Club America, Cruz Azul. Pachuca competing over the years in the Club World Cup. Campbell's making a break, but he was running into an offside position if that ball had been coming his way. They'll just keep running, they'll just keep working. Look for the odd gap appearing. This is where one might do. There's plenty forward in the stripes, the blue and white stripes again here now. That ball may just be kept in. No, it is going out, and the referees decided it's a, a goal kick and not a corner kick. So all quite calm in this uh, second half, so far as Al Jazeera are concerned at the moment. But they've not been able to hit back and reduce the deficits at all. Maybe Traore can do something about that in company now with Diaby. Chip from Diaby. Match centrally by the defence of the Mexican side. And now well past the hour mark. Opportunity here of a shot, maybe. Is that a good tackle? Yes, it is, according to the referee. He's the only one who matters, the sole arbiter. Whistle will be used now to uh, award the free kick Monterey's way. He's worked very hard as the number nine there, Zayed Alameri. Unlucky to get his two goals uh, ruled out by VAR in the opening contest uh, against Pirai. We've got one goal. This is Campbell. And then it will be another square pass. It's all very routine and all very comfortable at the moment. Campbell's into a good position here, but the ball just bounces off him. Offside flag anyway. Still no substitutions for uh, Al Jazeera. I mentioned earlier they don't have too many options, but they could bring on uh, one or two uh, players still. Bruno, they've got a 20-year-old winger from Brazil called Bruno. He's got a goal, his first for the club this season recently. Netted against the Emirates club. when they press forward like this that there is a po possibility of a fourth goal for the side that's uh, known as uh, Los Rayadas. Yeah. 
middle of the injured party here is the Egyptian. But he became an Emirati citizen in 2019. Very much part of the footballing scene here in Abu Dhabi these days. It's a big catch up just above the left eye. Ran a bit of the number five, just feeling his shoulder. He played in the centre back position the other day. He wanted to be a golfer actually, didn't Crown of Vita. He wanted to be a professional golfer, but he ultimately found out he was a better footballer. All very calm on the touchline. I think he knows that the result is going to be inevitable. It's going to require something very dramatic for Al Jazeera to win this one. They were so deflated by the concession of those two very early goals. 11 minutes gone and they were two down. One of them an own goal. And the other the result of a defensive error. Nothing uh, very hurried. Little chat with Granovita, though, from uh, referee Chobel, the Algerian official. And some very, very good referees in this part of the world, in uh, the Middle East and in Africa. Really excellent referees. We've had one player red carded in this tournament in this stadium last evening. And an Ashraf from Al Ali was the uh, player shown the red card. And the referee's just going across here for a chat with the Mexican coach. I'm quite sure what he set out a turn. Why would he do when his side is leading by three goals to nil? But Javier Geary somehow has managed to incur the wrath of referee Jobal. Zayed. Janssen will go charging in here, hoping for an error from the man in green. There was none. Nice little touch here. And a great win of the ball as well. That was exemplary tackling. It was a super tackle, it really was. And depends who's going to pick this one up. It is Campbell. Will a, a gap appear in that back line of Al Jazeera again? I mean, any chances really in this half, particularly? So uh, Monterey continue to probe. He's got to keep this ball in play initially. That he manages to do. There are two in. The blue and white stripes across in the centre, but the ball doesn't find any of them. Just a little bit of complacency creeping into Monterey's play, which is understandable in view of the match situation. Oh, very well done, and Campbell will accept the pass. Then the ball is uh, back with the substitute there, number 20, Vegas. Uh, on loan or been on loan from Mazatalan. Um, he signed full time now for Monterey. Pizarro. Oh, it's cat and mouse time. Janssen can't control the through pass. Still over 20 minutes remaining. I won't call it a contest, but it isn't particularly now. Once again, the ball is directed back to Ali Haksef. To nobody in particular, really. Which means that the ball is uh, back in Monterey's possession with Jansen. Thinks of a shot, goes for the shot, too high. Wheeling away on the left foot, Vincent Janssen can't keep it down. And the boss can go and resume his seat. Oh, 
Always uh, going way over the top. And a very rare touch of the ball for the Mexican goalkeeper Andrada. I say Mexican goalkeeper, his club is Mexican, of course, he actually plays for Argentina. Played in the 2011 Under-20 World Cup, he's also played in the famous Toulon tournament in France. Campbell, who's already booked, will be penalised again here, but it was nothing intentional there. Just caught the opponent, the referee took the right view of it. There he is, he's taking it down, he's just with the knee into the midriff. The tempo of this second half has uh, never really been raised. The ball scoops over the white line, out for a uh, throw in here. The Mexican supporters are still managing to keep up uh, a drum beat on the far side of the stadium, away from me here. The uh, Alwada Stadium. Janssen took a bit of a buffeting, it's a brilliant through ball, is this number four? Well, the save is made, it should have been. Big opportunity blown by Pizarro. Look for all the world as though Janssen's uh, ball was going to create a breakthrough. But credit goalkeeper Ali Hasef has made the stop to keep it at 3-0. Otherwise Pizarro's name was going to be added to those already on the sheet. The Campbell corner to come. The neutrals in the crowd here would be willing Al Jazeera to get a goal. Not too many neutrals, and Al Jazeera are going to make a couple of switches in a moment. It'd be good to give some of their younger players a, a run out in this prestigious competition, even if they're unable to effect the final outcome. This ball is over the top, over to that right hand side, and not kept in by Medina. So now we'll have this uh, switch. First of all, Al Ashmi will be uh, replaced by Yusuf Ayman. And Bruno, the number 80 I mentioned, is uh, coming on as well. With Traore relieved. Substitutions for Al Jazeera. It's a nice moment for young Bruno, the uh, Brazilian. He's only played four times for the first team of Al Jazeera. He has scored a goal for them as well. He uh, netted in a 3-2 victory over Emirates. And another yellow card. Mezu's getting the right talking to as well. So they are totting up the, the cautions here, which is rather unnecessary, I have to say. But Mezu's the uh, latest, following Pizarro and Campbell and Gallardo. That's four Monterey players booked today now. Most of them very unnecessarily. Ungentlemanly conduct, I think that's known as. Need something to add a bit of fire to the contest at the moment. It's all rather calm. And Al Jazeera don't have the firepower to do that, you feel. Well, they do lose it now to uh, Janssen to advance and takes it one, two touches, a third Janssen. Really excellent play from the Dutchman here, just to keep interest alive. But it's got to be a goal kick at the end of the move. It's a nice technique there from. Uh, Vincent Janssen, 74 minutes gone by, 3-0 the score. Romo, one of the calmest players around. And another switch here, but this time uh, it is going to be uh, by the Mexicans and uh, Meza will be taken off, maybe to protect him, having got that yellow card. Uh, we'll pat up the bat from the referee, I think there's nothing personal in all of this. 
but he is going to be replaced for these closing stages by Alfonso Alvarado. The player who is uh, coming on is a 21-year-old forward. He's only just over five in a five feet five tall. He won the uh, CONCACAF under-17 tournament. He has scored a goal in the CONCACAF Champions League against the American side, Columbus Crew. Let's see if he can add to that tally. Jansen again, he's trying to buff it away through. But this time the defence was equal to him. Showed some good touches as Jansen so far. He found life difficult in England. Starting from the back with Zayed. Once again, a, a walking pace adopted by Al Jazeera, who are on a damage limitation exercise, I think you might say, here, having been three goals adrift on 25 minutes. And the goalkeeper. Hurried into a clearance, but he affects it and uh, finds his own man over there. He juggles with the ball. And it's going to come back the goalkeeper's way again, uh, Ali Kasef. Jansen's added a bit more purpose to the Monterey attack since he uh, arrived. It can be difficult for players coming on when a, the game is uh, apparently all over. Trying to get themselves into a game, trying to make an impact, trying to catch the eye of the coach for the next game. But Al Jazeera are just making no impact going forward at all. Uh, it must be one of the quietest games that Esteban Andrade has ever had in the net for Monterey. He's made one save all day. <laughs> Having lost their opening fixture by a single goal to Al Ali of Egypt, Monterey uh, satisfied enough to have uh, taken this game. If that's what they ultimately go on to do which would seem inevitable. Uh, they pass the ball back once again to their goalkeeper. Just retaining the ball is good enough for them. They don't need to create chances. Al Jazeera charged with trying to do that, but failing so far. Two forward calling for the ball. It was a rather lax pass, however, played there by Vegas. No foul on DRB, throwing Monterey. 12 minutes to go. Well, you see more back passes in the last few minutes as Andrade than he had in the previous 75. I'm sure those Monterey fans would like just one more goal to celebrate, to uh, go home with. 4-0 always sounds uh, to be a sparkling performance. Now it's Jansen. Yeah, he was caught there, and badly as well, but the referee quite rightly allows play to continue because they had an opportunity, Rommel was charging in. Jansen's OK, by the way, he's picked himself up. Just needs something to spark to get to Monterey interested in finding another goal again, I think. They have a couple of offside positions at the moment, though. It's been a, a good exercise for them in many, many ways. 
having to work to find an opening now, as they didn't early on. They were certainly gifted the first two goals. Just looking for one incisive pass. And they may get it here. It was uh, aimed in towards Janssen. Never got to him. This is the 80 minute mark with Monterey leading 3 0. Just a reminder that Al Hilal of Saudi Arabia, who scored six times against this same Al Jazeera opposition, are up against Chelsea from England this evening. Another yellow card, another smile, but uh, it's a uh, yellow this time for the number 20, Vegas, and that's card number five for a Monterey player. Yeah, it's not been a, a vicious sort of a game at all, just another rash challenge. Perhaps indicative of the approach of Monterey, though, they were not going to get beaten today under any circumstances. Chance for Al Jazeera to float one in. That's a handy win of the ball. Janssen, a little tug on the shirt there to halt him in his tracks. It's gone one side of the field to the other, and then he, he can't control it. Ball bouncing off the chest of Campbell. He switched from left to right in the last few minutes. So the tournament, which began so promisingly for uh, Al Jazeera, has finished disappointingly for them. By the look of it, anyway, unless they get a goal here. And for that, there would have to be an enormous lapse in concentration from the Monterey defence. But they do work it out safely. One or two players are already thinking about their flights home. And now it's Pizarro. He's got one colleague across in the centre. That's Janssen, who takes it down, but he can't locate anybody else in the same shirt as him. Romo again, who's in the pick of the midfield players out here. Four or five uh, blue and white striped shirts forward this time, and Campbell goes for goal rather selfishly, I think, there. Could have tried to hit Janssen, who's in a favourable position just outside the six-yard area. Well, you won't know what to say, particularly in the dressing room, I don't think. This game was won and lost early on. Serrero, then uh, he plays it back to Zayed. The lone trumpeter making his presence felt in the crowd here. Not as big a crowd as we've had for the previous matches in the Al Nayan Stadium. Serrero, he's uh, certainly kept going. And I suppose they will take some consolation from the fact that they've not conceded a goal in the second half. Al Jazeera. about six or seven minutes away from the conclusion. <laughs> Nicely measured ball from the goalkeeper. Between them, they squander the opportunity to uh, bring Al Jazeera out. Campbell rides the first challenge. And the second. One or two disappointed substitutes who are not going to get a run today. Nice turn in the middle there, good ball through as well uh, 
free kick, edge of the area, chance here of a fourth goal on the foul on Janssen by Zayed. And uh, it's going to happen at the same time as uh, a switch in personnel. And it is by Al Jazeera, and uh, Abdallah will be replaced here for these closing moments by Koulibaly. Very hard to say as a coach, go on and uh, change this game around with five minutes to go. Go on and get us three goals, will you? As Abdallah comes off. So is there a final flourish to be had on this afternoon in Abu Dhabi? Looks as though Alvarado is the one poised to strike here. There you have it from behind the goal. The goalkeeper is uh, close to his left-hand post. All about the hit, all about the accuracy, and straight into the wall. Then he does win the ball back, uh, does Alvarado, gives it to Campbell. So I suppose at the end of the day, the uh, two coaches will say, well, what have we learned from this tournament? Al Jazeera maybe suffered from the fact that their opening game was too easy. And they've suffered the consequences since. There's a chance for Janssen to add a pullback here. Save made. They're finding that fourth goal elusive, and Pizarro can't beat Ali Kasef. One or two tired limbs, I fancy, out there now as well. The game's coming every three days. Oh, that's a clever little skipping run and a charge through the centre of the field as well. That was uh, quite a uh, good play, actually, from uh, Al Jazeera. They tried to find a belated goal for themselves. Campbell gets the favour of the ricochet. But uh, Remy's consumed as a handling ball, I think, so it's a free kick for Al Jazeera. And the ball going up against the arm of Joel Campbell. And once again, Al Jazeera thinking of uh, bringing somebody on very, very late in the day, and Idris will be taken off, and the player coming on will be Nawaf, who's had one substitute appearance already in this Club World Cup. It was a substitute for Kazanovic against Pirai. He's only got a couple of minutes of action to enjoy. Twenty-year-old Bruno with the ball at his feet. Not about 30 yards from goal. Drifted across here and it kept out on the line and the flag was raised in any event. It wouldn't have counted even if the ball had been forced beyond goalkeeper Andrada. Which is what uh, Diaby was hoping for. There was at least two offside, as you can see. Nicely worked. Monterey's defence not to be breached, it would seem, as we move into the last 90 seconds of the 90 minutes. And a 3 0, a more than fair reflection of the difference between these two teams. But it looks like Monterey are having to settle for fifth place. Al Jazeera will be sixth, and the Perret, who they beat, they eliminated in the very first match, will be declared seventh of the seven teams competing here in the United Arab Emirates. And we are now inside the last minute. Trying to get that ball again over the top of the back line. A bit of a lunge here, and a foul committed as well. Now the enthusiastic Alvarado. There's one 
player who stuck to his task as Khalifa, the number five. A pretty hopeless cause uh, after that calamitous opening that Al Jazeera suffered. Just over two hours away from the second semi final, the one involving Chelsea and uh, Al Hilal. Just across the city, not very far away. Plenty of red shirts forward here. It would be consolation if they do score, and they have a goal. Al Jazeera get the ball into the net, and it's the young Brazilian Bruno who gets his name on the score sheet here right in the first few seconds of added time. Well, it is mere consolation, but it's a nice goal, well constructed. Monterey will be disappointed to have conceded. The ball pulled across, and it's a mere slap of the right boot onto the ball here from the cross from Diaby. And a lovely moment for young Bruno, the Brazilian. 20-year-old 20 year winger from Brazil, but playing very much in the United Arab Emirates these days, and manages to beat the despairing dive of Andrada. And this goal means the score is now Monterey 3, Al Jazeera 1. And with three minutes of added time remaining, that probably will be the final score. Monterey certainly won't want to concede again, which would be a ridiculous scoreline, bearing in mind the way the game has been panned out. It might needle them to try and get a fourth goal. And Pizarro goes racing in, the goalkeeper puts boot to ball safely. No free kick, I don't think. A popular goal for Al Jazeera from the young Brazilian. All a little too little, too late, I think is the phrase. And uh, he was onside, as you can see. Well onside, which is all that matters. There's the pullback, and there was the finish. Clinical and welcome. The sixth goal that Al Jazeera has managed to score in this Club World Cup of 2022. Unfortunately, they've rather conceded too many goals, 20, uh, 10 in total. That gives them something to go away with. Before that next league clash next Tuesday against Al Dafra. Looks a little mystified as to why the whistle was blown against him there, but a free kick awarded to Al Jazeera. It's the one game still to come in this stadium, which will be to decide third place. But fifth place undoubtedly is going to Monterrey of Mexico. And they've really just gone through the motions in the uh, second half, they've not been required to do more than that. Pizarro. Inside the last 45 seconds of the added time, the referee won't add any more on, I'm pretty sure about that. It's been an emphatic victory. And one last free kick, one last set-piece opportunity. As it's just taken quickly, and Campbell ushers the ball back, and then he races forward here, Joel Campbell, tries to get the ball across maybe to Janssen, who is uh, awaiting a delivery. Here it comes for Janssen on the left foot. Safely away. And the next blast on the whistle will surely be the last blast on the whistle here. Monterey finished fifth in the Club World Cup, organised by FIFA in 2022. They took the game by a stranglehold. Bruno there with a late reply for Al Jazeera, but they were distinctly second best on the day. The goal's coming early with an own goal from Zayed Sultan in the fourth minute. A strike then from uh, Rogelio Funes Mori in the 11th. And the captain, Casesa Montes, 
on the 25th minute. The full-time score was CF Monterey 3, Al Jazeera 1. At times, a training ground exercise for the Mexicans, but they've certainly uh, made up for previous uh, disappointments. Although they lost 1-0 to Al Ali, their supporters will go on the flight home much happier after this showing where they were totally in charge of the match from first to last, and they've won it by three goals to one against Al Jazeera. Gracias con eh, César Montes. César, al menos se termina con una buena imagen, se consigue el quinto lugar, hiciste el viaje para este partido. ¿Cómo se van del Mundial de Clubes, César? Sí, la verdad que un quinto lugar que creo que merecíamos más. El partido pasado tuvimos una mala noche todo el equipo y bueno, lo pagamos y bueno, competimos ahora y dejamos una buena imagen. No. no. Me tocó estar fuera, fuera desafortunadamente por cuestiones extra cancha, que más quisiera estar con el equipo el partido pasado, pero bueno, son cosas que pasan y de última pude venir y, y aportar al equipo en este partido. ¿no? César, no fuiste partícipe de lo que sucedió y a lo mejor vas llegando, las manifestaciones, ¿qué decirle a la gente que se ha manifestado, que, ha, que se ha metido con ustedes? ¿Qué decirle? La gente te está viendo. Sí, no estuve, no estuve presente, pero creo que soy parte de... Eh, eh, me siento parte de, de lo que sucedió y a la gente tiene derecho a manifestarse. ¿no? Nosotros tenemos que trabajar dentro del campo para para poder remediar la, la situación en la, en la que se encuentra la gente protestando. Y bueno, nosotros responder dentro del campo de esta manera como lo hicimos ahora y, y ahora nos enfocaremos en la liga. ¿no? Gracias, César. A ti, gracias.
Coach Kaiser, what are your thoughts on tonight's game and how your team performed? Um, first half, uh, we were too open, so uh, the possession game was uh, was okay, but uh, we played too open and then it's too easy for them to counter, so the goals were too easy, I thought. Uh, second half was better, more control, uh, didn't give away too many chances and also scored a goal. So uh, at the end, uh, we didn't deserve to win, but uh, at least the second half we were better. And what are the positives you can take from the Club World Cup and what are your goals for the rest of the season? Oh, for my players, it's very good to play against uh, teams with a high level. Uh, especially the game against Ali Law was for us very good. Uh, because there uh, we could see that they punish us on the small things. Um, we could easily play with them, but still um, they are much more decisive than we are. Um, so, a big lesson, um, and that's always positive for, for my players, especially for my young players. So, I think we'll be, we'll be a better team after this tournament. Great. Thanks very much, Coach. Thanks. Let's have a look at the statistics then. It was Monterey who dictated the ball, 55% of it. They had 16 shots in total throughout the 90 minutes. Five of those on target and three, of course, ending in the net. The surprising statistic maybe is that all five players who received yellow cards were Monterey players. That's something they might have to have a look at. So on the road to the final here, we do know there's a one semi-final still to be played between Al Hilal of Saudi Arabia and Chelsea of England, representing Europe, of course, against Asia. But uh, it will be Monterey who take fifth place in the Club World Cup of 2022. Al Jazeera left in sixth. There were a few Mexican bandits in the crowd here in the Al Nayyan Stadium as the referee from Algeria led out Monterey of Mexico and Al Jazeera from United Arab Emirates. And it wasn't long before Monterey were quickly into their stride with Meza on the right-hand side dictating the start of the play. And the ball actually had crossed the line there before Ali Kaseb managed to drag it back. And there we have the virtual goal line technology and unfortunately Zayed Sultan, the 20-year-old, playing only second game and his first start for Al Jazeera was credited with that goal. Then on 11 minutes, Mezer again accepting the pass and delivering the cross. The goalkeeper and defender making a bit of a mess of things really and that opened the way for Rogelio Funes Mori to score his third goal over two editions of the FIFA Club World Cup. Having netted against Liverpool in the past, and then the third goal here coming from the captain, the head of Cesar Montes, the call to the starting lineup, and it was 3 0. And uh, with only 25 minutes on the clock, it was job done already for the Mexican side. In a rare foray, Al Jazeera hit back, and there was a decent try there from the number 19, Uma Chayori from Mali, save made, and then a follow up effort dealt with uh, routinely by Andrada, who otherwise had a very uneventful day. But in the second half, Campbell had the best uh, of the opportunities, perhaps for Monterey to extend their advantage, but they were unable to beat uh, Ali Kaseif on that occasion. Would Al Jazeera get a goal? Yes, they would. And right on 90 minutes, the young 20-year-old Brazilian Bruno provided the final flourish of the afternoon's entertainment. And it was... An Al Jazeera goal to celebrate, but at the end of the day, Monterey were far too good for them, and the Mexicans clinch fifth place with a 3-1 victory. OK, thank you.